Yeah, um, this is a very serious topic for me and probably most of you guys around here. So you probably don't realise it's um it's about mental health. So obviously yesterday everybody heard about Dave Bean stepping down as captain. And um so he's the basic so I've I've read into it. Um his backstory was obviously his father passed away and he, he stood up in front of the, um, the whole Brisbane Lions football club and spoke about his uh, mental demons. So he just said he, he wasn't in the right frame of mind and he just couldn't go on, but he still wanted to play football. And um, so, <laughs> so what basically was saying is it's okay to speak out. So, yeah, so it's, it's a bit hard. Okay, um, Roger, you're all right, mate. Yeah, so it's okay to speak out, it's okay to say, express your feelings. So, this is what I'm going to do today, I'm, I'm going to express my feelings. So, since probably the uh, start of February, end of January, um, <coughs> sorry, I've got diagnosed with depression. So, it's probably, I'm not probably a guy, I got depression, I look pretty happy, we're in a football club, I love Pretty over the club, but depression is it, it's a pretty bad, pretty bad thing. Um, so I'm just going to give you a bit of insight of what I went through and uh, how you guys used to realise that you guys really actually helped me going through it. So the way I said it, the murder football club and murder three club, they're my safe zones. So I could come to the footy club or the three club and be safe. I don't, I don't have to talk to anybody, I don't have to look at anybody in the eye, I just feel safe, I feel secure, and that's it. And um, it's, for someone going through depression, that's probably the best thing ever, like it is. It's, someone, it's, it's just basically someone cuddling you saying it's, it's okay, it's okay. But it's, the worst part was when you go home by yourself, you're in the car, you're talking to you, your, your brain just ticks over, ticks over, ticks over, ticks over. So you, you're talking to you're talking to your demon, and that's when it kicks in. That's when the depression kicks in. And I'll be honest, I do think about bad thoughts. Yes, I, I couldn't control it. I tried to try to control it, but I couldn't. And um, <coughs> this is a hard spot. Um, it really affected my family. So probably Dean's probably the best one <coughs> to think about it, uh, know about it. I'm a at home, a pretty. I'm a bit of a smart ass, I'm a I'm, yeah, I'm always very loud and all that stuff. And then when I was in that very very dark place, I um I wasn't talking to mum. Mum would cry, cry, cry. And you know when the mum would cry, so she was crying, she was worried about it, worried about her son. So her son, she was worried about her son, I wasn't talking to her, I wasn't giving nothing, but she would come into my room, she would ball, ball her eyes out, and so would I. I would just cry and cry and cry, but I feel nothing. I had no feeling, I've got no feeling at all. I'm just ball my eyes out, done nothing. My dad, he loves uh, speaking about sport. All he wants to do is talk to me about sport, about my cricket, about my footy. How am I going? I couldn't. I couldn't talk to him at all. I was very distant from him. So we lost that connection. My brother Ryan, they're pretty, like, bearish, just brothers. Basically, best mates. We, we lost that connection because I I sent myself away from my family because I didn't want to express my feelings. Now that is worse. That is one of the worst things you ever do if you're going through like a mental state because you're you're actually putting your family and your friends at risk of disconnecting and being a family and making making them worry about you, causing them to become maybe in depression or anything else. So. I, one night, mum come into my room and he just goes to me, oh, what's wrong? And I said, I need help. I bought my eyes out, I was crying, left right and centre, I was, I was crying for about a good hour, it was so shit, so, so, um, the way my steps, the way I did it was, you call your doc, I called my doctor and I spoke to him and I said I want a referral, I want to see someone, I want to see a specialist, I want to see a therapist, I want to get right. Bang, done, he done that straight away for me, the next week I was seeing a therapist. Now, um, most people know me, I don't really, I'm not very 
good at talking to people. I, I don't really like to express my feelings. I like to keep everything bottled up. That's me. So I will share myself for a good like a week. So a good the whole week leading up to that to that day. I was sharing myself. I've never done this before. I was very uh, scared until the day comes. And never met this girl in my life. I just I walked in there and um, she goes, "Oh, hey, Josh, how are you going?" First three words I said, "I need help." Now it's a 50-minute session. I cry for 30 minutes, just expressing what I want to express. I've never done that in my life. Just express what I want to express. And I walked away after that. Uh, session relieved. Oh, it's like someone's someone's pulling your coat and they just let go. It just, it just felt so good to talk to someone and you don't know, express the feelings and get it out. I've never done that in my life. And yeah, like it's still one of the greatest things I've ever done mentally for myself and the hardest thing and bravest thing I've ever done personally. It just it was so hard for me to do and to yeah, to this day I'm Four months in, so I'm four months in. Um, what we call it is a journey. A journey to become a, a better person, better, healthy person. And yeah, I just it's been been a very very tough. I, I do cry a lot with her because I feel safer now. And she's my safe zone, and so is the footy club. It's my safe zone. So it's basically um, yeah. My point of uh, speaking up today is just if anyone. You know, who's just struggling or I don't know, unhappy about anything, maybe work related, money related, or anything. You just gotta, but if you're struggling, you gotta speak up. Just speak up, talk to your best mate, talk to your family members. Don't get me wrong, it is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. The hardest thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's, and even, if you see someone in Australia as well, you just always be there with them because you don't know what they're going through. It's they think they're doing it alone, but they're not. You gotta be you gotta be around there, you gotta be you gotta be with them, you gotta be uh, play yeah, play picture, you gotta cuddle them, you gotta guide them through, you gotta help them because if they go, you can't change anything, can't you? But you can change what's happening right now. It's a lot of a lot of young men suffer from it, but they don't speak up. And uh, what I'm doing today is it's a very hard thing, but I'm, I just really hope my experiences can help you guys. I know what you're you're going through. Like there's probably two people here who might be struggling a bit, but it's just yeah. Please speak up. And, I always felt I wasn't a man if I spoke up and spoke, spoke about my feelings. I thought I was, as you say, a bit of a pussy for speaking up. But you're not. You're, you're actually more of a man speaking up and saying, you're right, Danny, I don't feel well. I need, I need to speak to see someone. I need to speak to someone. That is more of a man than bottling up and keeping it inside because that's, that's when it destroys you. So, yeah, this. If you see someone struggling out there, please get around them. Or if you are struggling out there, just please speak up. I'm more than happy if you want to talk to me about it. I'm more than happy I can speak all day about this and help you through it. But yeah, 